hey everyone welcome back so today in this video we are going to see the top 10 sql interview questions along with answers which are most commonly asked by the every interviewer during the interview process whether the interview is maybe for a developer or it may be for a data people okay so basically data people means anyone who is working with data like data engineer database administrator data analyst or it may be a data scientist okay so let's see what are those common top 10 sql interview questions along with answers one by one okay so stay tuned and keep watching so the first question is what is sql so sql stand for structure query language it means sql is a programming language which is basically used to manage and manipulate data stored in a relational database it allow users to perform tasks such as inserting updating deleting and querying data in a database okay or we can say sql is widely used in management of data and it is the standard language which is used for communicating within the database okay in the other hand sql is used in many different applications including web development data analytics business intelligence and many more so in short we can say sql is a powerful tool for managing large amount of data and it is essential for anyone who is working with data or who is working with relational database okay so this is all about sql then the next question is what is table in sql and how it is different from view so in sql a table is a collection of related data organized in row and columnar form or we can say a table is a basic structure which is used to store and manage data in a relational database remember one thing each table in a database has a unique name and it contains a set of columns which defines the type of data that can store in each row all right and these each row in a table represents a record or instance of a data whereas each column in the table represent a specific attribute or a characteristic of that data all right on the other hand we can also say tables can be created modified and deleted using sql command and these are basically used to store wide range of data including text number tables and many more okay that's why in short we can also say table are the building blocks of a relational database and these are essential for managing and organizing data efficiently so this is all about table in sql okay then the next is view so in sql a view is a virtual table which is based on the result of an sql select statement basically it is the way of representing the data from one or more table in a particular format without changing the underlying data in those tables okay so this is all about view so the question arises here what is the need of create a view view is basically created to restrict the access of sensitive data by only allowing certain users to access specific view that contain the data they need additionally we can also say view can be used to join the table that have a complex relationship for making it easier to query the data all right so pointing towards the question that is the difference between view and table is in case of view it is not a physical table and they do not store any data themselves but moving towards the table it is a physical one which is available in the database okay and they are used to store the data okay so this is the main difference between view and table all right then the next question is what is the difference between delete and truncate command in sql so in sql delete and truncate are two different commands which are basically used to remove the data from a table but they work differently and they have different effects on the table 
and its data okay so basically we have taken three different parameters on the basis of which we have figured it out the difference between delete and truncate command in sql so first one is operations in case of delete delete removes individual row from a table one by one whereas truncate remove all the row from a table at once so this is the first difference between delete and truncate okay i hope you got it in, in case of delete it removes individual row from a table and that is one by one whereas in case of truncate it remove all the rows from a table at once okay then the next is speed so truncate is faster than delete because it doesn't need to check each row individually before removing it this is the second point okay and third point is rollback so in case of delete delete can be rolled back which means we can do undo if necessary but in case of truncate truncate cannot be rolled back so once it has been executed the data is permanently removed from the table okay so these are the three main difference between delete and truncate in sql then the next question is what is constraint in sql so basically constraint are used to limit the type of data that can go into a table apart from this it is also used to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data in the table okay in sql we have two different type of constraint are there one is column level constraint and another is table level all right so column level constraint are basically apply on the column and table level constraint are applied to the whole table okay let me give some example of the constraint which are commonly used during create a table or a view okay so first is not null constraint so what is the use of this not null constraint with the help of this constraint we can ensure that a column cannot have a null value all right the next is unique constraint so unique constraint is basically used to ensure that all value in a column are different in this way we have so many different types of constraint are there for example primary key constraint foreign key constraint check constraint default constraint and all and all okay so this is all about the constraint in sql then the fifth question is what is primary key and how it is different from unique key okay so this is one of the most important questions or we can say this is one of the most commonly asked interview question so both the unique key and primary key constraint are basically used to provide a guarantee for uniqueness for a column or for a set of columns okay and remember a primary key constraint automatically has a unique key constraint however you can have many unique constraint per table but you can use only one primary key constraint per table okay so this is the difference between unique key constraint and primary key constraint in sql then the next question is what is the difference between care and care data type in sql okay so in sql both care and where care are the data types which is used to store character string data however they have some difference in how they work first is based on fixed length and variable length the main difference between the care and where care is that in case of care care is fixed length data type while where care is a variable length data type this means that when you define a column as a care you must specify a fixed length for the data that will be stored in that column for example if you define a column as care and inside the bracket it will provide 10 it means it can store up to 10 characters in contrast if you define a column as where care and inside the bracket it will give 10 it means it can store up to 10 characters but it can also store fewer characters if the actual data is shorter all right so this is the first difference between the care and where care data type all right then second is based on space usage because care is a fixed length data type it always use the same amount of storage space regardless of the actual length of the data being stored this means that if you define a column as care 10 and store only 5 characters in it 
the remaining five characters will be padded with spaces using of extra storage space okay but in case of varchar as we know it is a variable length data type that's why it only use as much storage space as is needed to store the actual data all right then the third point is based on performance because of char is a fixed length data type it is generally faster than the varchar when performing operations that involve searching sorting or grouping by the column okay so these are the three main difference between the char and varchar data type in sql all right then the most important questions that every interviewer will ask to you during the interview process is what is join and what are the different types of joins are there in sql okay as the name shows join means to combine something right but in case of sql join means to combine two or more tables or we can say in sql join clause take records from two or more tables in a database and combines it together so basically in sql we have five different types of joins are there those are inner join left outer join right outer join full outer join and cross join okay so what is inner join inner join is used to return the records that have matching value in both the table a and table b okay it means suppose we have two table that is table a and table b so from them if i want to extract the record that have matching value only so in that case i will use inner join okay same way left outer join so we can also call left outer join as left join okay so in case of left join it returns all record from the left table and the matched record from the right table all right the next is right outer join or we can say right join so in case of right join it returns all record from the right table and the matched record from the left table okay then the next is full outer join So in case of full outer join or full join it returns all the record when there is a match in either left or right table all right then the last is cross join if we use the cross join to combine two different tables then we will get the cartesian product of the set of row from the joint tables okay when each row of the first table is combined with each row from the second table it is known as cartesian join or cross join okay so these are the five different types of join that we have in sql all right then the next question is what is the difference between dbms and rtbms so the answer is in case of dbms dbms stand for database management system whereas in case of rtbms rtbms stand for relational database management system so this is the first difference okay the next is in case of dbms dbms technology store the data in the form of files only whereas in case of rtbms it store the data in the form of tables the next is in case of dbms dbms is designed to handle small amount of data whereas if the amount of data is large then we use the rdbms that's why we have written rdbms is designed to deal with vast amount of data okay then the next difference is dbms provide support only for a single user at a time whereas in case of rdbms it provide support for multiple users at a time okay so these are some main difference between dbms and rdbms then the next question is what are the different types of statements that support sql so basically there are four different types of sql statements are there okay first is ddl it means data definitions language so ddl is used to define the database structure such as tables it include three statements such as create alter and drop okay so these are the three statement that come under ddl all right the next is dml 
DML stands for Data Manipulations Language. So, these DML statements are used to manipulate the data in your records. Commonly used DML statements are insert, update, or delete. Okay. Then the next is DCL statement. DCL stands for Data Control Language. These DCL statements are basically used to set privileges such as grant or revoke database access permission to the specific users. Okay. Then the last is TCL statement. Okay. So under TCL, the statement like commit, rollback, save, print, all these come under TCL category. Okay. So these are the four different types of SQL statement. Correct. Then the next question is what is normalization and what are the different types of normalizations are there in sql so to understand the term normalizations in a generic sense it means to bring something to a normal condition right or you can say to a normal state but this term has a very specific meaning for the area of database in this area, we can say normalizations is the process of organizing and structuring data in a relational database to eliminate redundancy and dependency and to ensure that data is stored in a consistent and efficient manner. So the goal of normalizations is to reduce data duplications, improve data integrity and minimize data anomalies all right so these are the main goal of normalizations in the area of database okay so basically we have four different types of normalizations are there and those are first normal form that is called as 1nf then second normal form that is called as the second nf and next is third nf we can call it as 3NF and at the end we have BCNF that is called as the bias code normal form. So these are the four different types of normalizations that we have in SQL. So these are the top 10 SQL interview questions and answers which is most frequently asked by the interviewer. That's why before going to the interview you must be aware about all these questions properly. Okay? So, thanks for watching.